inside? Not yet, sir. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Forrest. Mr. Forrest. Good morning, Mr. Forrest. I have some correspondence. Don't bother me with that stuff. Design. Would you like some coffee? No. You look lousy. Not in a good mood. Anything I can do for you? I'll give you a list of my maladies. You better give me a cup of coffee. I don't want to yawn in Mrs. Miller's face. Yes, sir. Hmm? Here you are. Will you take this thing out of my mouth? Richard Forrest, our manager? Hello, darling. Lang, L-A-N-G. Lang, how are you, dear? Good morning, Mr. Draper. All right. When I was a kid, we used to play a game called Your Mother Wears Army Shoes. I'm not your mother. Sit down. <laughs> Do you know Frederick T. Draper? Thank you, Emily Dickinson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dear. What are you going to sell us this time, Harry? Money. Actually, it's a very good film. We call it the uh, Dolce Vita of the commercial field. Is that so? I don't mean to insinuate it's a crude film. We were trying to capture several approaches. Yeah. What Jim means is that we really... No, can't no, 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 that. that's not what I mean at all. We were talking facts and figures until we practically went out of our minds. Losses, gains, ratings, schmatings. You know, you can lose your mind if you keep analyzing things like that. And we came up with an impressionistic document that shocks. Is that so? I don't think it's so much shocks as it's honest. It's honest, but it's a good piece in itself. So you see, we're a, a, a little nervous about hitting you with this. Oh, now they've got nothing to be nervous about. It's a shot in the dark, but it's strong and it's attractive. Yeah, it better be better than the last one, Harry. I think I'll loan you my sleeping pills. You know, I have insomnia and I stay awake all night looking at pictures, worrying about pictures. I walk all over the place. Wait, let's see it, J.P. I'd rather hear him talk about it. We'll again. talk about it later, J.P. All right, I don't roll it.
It's a bad fairy. What the hell do you know about Cinderella? Look now, sit down. I want to tell you something. Oh. Just sit down. Sit down. Don't let this sophisticated exterior fool you. I believe in Aesop's fables and Walt Disney. All right, Freddy. Okay, all right, all right. All right, my left eyeball. <laughs> we met at a bar. Right, Jeannie? Right. And it was love at first sight. Right, Jeannie? Right. We were thrown out by Maury. But we had laughs. Right? Right. right. Shut up. Who asked you? Listen. I think force is a holier than thou. I am not. Well, who asked you? Now, cool it. You go to a psychiatrist, don't you, Dickie? No, I don't. Well, you look Freudian. again. I never even met a psychiatrist. He looks like Sigmund. Yes, he does. <laughs> Listen, do you know that Freud said if you go to the bathroom, it's supposed to be sexy or something? Oh, 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 sick, 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 sick. <laughs>
<laughs> About the cooks that went down into the subway <laughs> and got people to death. Oh, isn't that? Listen, do you know that Dickie and I used to do routines in college? Ha, 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 boy! I hey, hey, remember that time we were teaching for the night club? Not closed. Uh, hey, let Friday, let's do one of our routines, Virginia. Hey, come on. Come on, let's do it. Well, come on. Oh, 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 oh. It wasn't funny then, buddy, and a hundred years wouldn't change Listen, it. Freddy, after what I saw on television, I'm not ashamed of any of our Freddy, routines. Come now, come on. I come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right, let's do it. Come on, you lazy, son of a Go bitch. Up on your feet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You should do something more comfortable. Don't worry. You should feel many guilt, but remain pure. Oh, my heart. Mm. It's beating. I'm so excited. Uh. What are we doing on our knees? <laughs> what is the matter with you? She's gonna change. Ooh, Dickie. Remember when we didn't have to worry about our wives and kids? Oh, God. Yeah. Phew. Remember when we had our own apartment and all the girls would come up and see us? And they would mix drinks for us, and they would cook us anything we wanted, and then they give us their money and go to bed with us. Don't you remember? It never happened. Oh, of course it did. Don't you remember Connie and Julie and what the hell's her name? The one with the... I don't know. Oh, my God, Dickie. You're getting old and gray, and I'm getting fat and gray. What the hell is she doing in there? I dream of Jean. 
church for my service to humanity. You're a lovely girl. I'm too old to be lovely. And I haven't got a heart of gold. The nights are long, and little orphan Annie of hard Knoxville gets tough, you know. I think I'd better go. Get the hell off me, Snowball. Right, right. You're on your own again. I don't think there's anything you can do about it. Maria, I want to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Louise, I just came home from the office. Yes, I had a very hard day and something important came up. Can she call you back later? Uh-huh. Louise, we'll call you back later. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna have a drink. You kill me. <laughs> yeah, why do I kill you? Why do I kill you? <laughs> why do I kill you, huh? Why? What do you want to drink? Oh, whatever it is. I want it on the rock, straight and dirty, because... I feel very, very bitchy tonight. Well, I feel very, very bitchy, too. That makes two of us. Blue Monday for me today. All day, the phone rang and rang. Hello, Maria. Goodbye, Maria. Hello, darling. Goodbye, darling. Hello, darling. <laughs> Your sense of humor is going to destroy our marriage someday. I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> Listen, Maria, go get me a cigarette, will you? Oh, we're out. I'm sorry. I smoked myself silly today. You're such a conformist. Like hell I am. Dicky. Why don't you take me to a movie, okay? Why doesn't somebody fill these stupid boxes? You smoke too much. There's a Bergman film in the neighborhood. I don't feel like getting depressed tonight. But you always love foreign films. Where the hell are the cigarettes? We're out. What are you getting so huffy about? There's nothing on television tonight. If I had a cigarette, I could think. like home. What? I 
said, have you ever been to Rome? Italy? <laughs> I love you. But you always love me when I bring food. Well, that's because I'm a glutton. Were you with Fred tonight? Yeah. I think he's a terrible father. He never talks to the kids or plays with them. The kids are grown up. <laughs> you, you, you mean he goes... Uh. <laughs> 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 Is that what you mean? No. sexual nightmares and not one of my problems. Besides, what the hell has that got to do with Fred being a good father? Huh? Well, I... <laughs> I'm sorry I talked too much. Well, well, you know, if Fred puts up with his kids as my friends, you know that? His kids want to drink. He lets them drink. They want to smoke. He lets them smoke. He he sends the bitches to college. They each have their own cars, you know? And it's a filthy bunch of women. That's the thing, you know, imagine that. <laughs> and his daughter is beautiful. His son is the big six foot three hunk of man. And the girls think he's cute. And he's got Simon. A one year old baby. I wish I was that guy of a father. Well, we weren't discussing that. But anyway, I'm talking about it from a woman's point of view. Oh, a, a woman's point of view. <laughs> a woman's point of view. Oh, God. I can't go to the goddamn room again. Jesus Christ, over here. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can sit in a hole. Charge! And you know 
our daily beating of three square meals a day, bread and water, and we'll just sit staring at the sun, going blind, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. You emasculate you. Poor little boy, you little gorilla. Well, I don't have it anymore. What happened to it, huh? I just don't appeal to you. Oh, you appeal to me, all right. When I come home, you appeal to me. When I'm at the office, you appeal to I me. I am not a no, oh, you want to go to the movies. Yes, I'm bored. That's how you get your jelly. Don't be crude. Crude, smooth. I'm crude. The minute you get home, you want to jump into bed. Well, that's the general idea. <laughs> why, why does a man throw, throw the clock out the window? Huh? <laughs> you want to see time fly. <laughs>
I want a divorce. That's the only thing to do, isn't it? Well, why don't you laugh? It's funny. Well, what's your answer? Answer me! Ginny? Now, hold on a minute. I'll send for my clothes in the morning. I'm not coming back. I'm on the phone. This is Richard Forrest. Hi. I'd like to see you tonight. It's very important. Well, how busy are you? Well, I could meet you at the Losers Club. 20, 30 minutes. Take as long as you like. Fine. I'll see you later.
Sears sucker. Sears made it, and you're looking at the sucker that bought it. <laughs> On top of that, I'm so flat-footed. When I get out of the bathtub, I have somebody has to rock me back and forth to break the suction. <laughs> But uh, the postman came with a letter and uh, told me that the great society was having a war on poverty. So uh, I told him if that was true, I wanted to be the first to surrender. <laughs> me to come rescue. What do you think of that? But what do you think of it? Well, I'm asking for your advice. You're the wise one. Be a hero. Tell me. <laughs> come on. <laughs> hey, Jackson. Yo. Hey, Jackson. <laughs> Remember the time we went to New Orleans on a bet? Uh, yes, sir, I do. <laughs> we stayed up all night screaming at the top of our lungs. We had a we had a... My nose it. We had a... Going to kiss a fool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we had a couple of bimbos with... No, actually, they were, they were very nice girls. They reminded me a lot of you, too. Oh. <laughs> they, they, but they knew more dirty limericks than you could shake a stick at. How nice. Well, I knew a guy who used to make love and sell them. Really? He must have been an ex-convict. That's right. Don't look so wide-eyed. Not wide-eyed. Do you realize that ex-convicts and jailbirds are the ones that write all the limericks? Not all of them. Uh, uh, don't argue with Mr. McCarthy, miss. Jimmy Arnold. He wrote a couple that were really funny, didn't he, Jean? That's right, he did. Jimmy Arnold? Mm-hmm. Jimmy Arnold? Not the Jimmy Arnold. Do you know it? Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Strong. Just who in the hell are you, huh? Just who in the hell are you? Will you take it easy? What's the matter with you? Why be so violent? Take it easy, Just guys. Relax. Wait a minute, Jeannie, wait, Jeannie. What's the matter, Jeannie? Don't you like me? Hmm? Why not? Come on, I can take criticism. Hmm? What's the matter with me? You don't want me to be crude? All right, I won't be crude. Jeannie, Jeannie, I'm a nice guy. 
Would you think that I weigh 190 pounds? Huh? You're married. Oh, Jeannie, am I married? Yeah, I'm married. I got a son almost as old as you. He thinks he's a grown man. He goes to college. I wanted him to go to one of those Midwestern schools and play football. But his mother said, no, no football. So he said, all right, what the hell, okay, no football. So instead, he goes to Dartmouth. He goes out for tennis instead. All day long, he walks around in tennis shoes. Now, what kind of a thing is that for a grown boy to walk around in tennis shoes all day long? Well, what the hell, he's my son. Even if he wants an answer around, I said, so what? <laughs> Everybody's got to lead their own life, right? So he goes out for swimming, track. He wears tennis shoes. Jeannie, you know what it is to be a promo man in a firm like mine, huh? I'll tell you. You meet more millionaires and more presidents than you dream could exist. And that seems like a big thing to you, huh? So what have I got after all those years? A big house, a kooky wife, and a kid who wears sneakers. Over you tonight, 
hasn't been any controversy. Sure there has. Hey, you're the one in the bar, right? That's right. You've been waiting a couple hours? That's right. Well, then, come on, take your coat off, hey, relax, join stop, the party. Stop. Okay. Come on, sit down, sit down. We'll just have a, we'll get a couple of drinks, then we'll get out of here, huh? You don't mind, do you? What's your name, by the way? Richard. Well, Richard, Richard, that boy, that's a nice name, Richard. Isn't that a nice name, Jackson? Yeah. Hey, Richard. 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 I'm talking to you, boy. Come on, pay attention. Let's go. I'm Jim. That's Joe and uh, Stella, I suppose you know. Hey, what do you do, Richard? I'm a businessman. In shirt, huh? That's right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not a fag, huh, Jeannie? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> that boy Richard is all right. Your friend Richard. He's got yeah. a shirt, has he, Jim? Has he, Jim? Listen, now that we're through with basic training, can we knock off the grade school theatrics? Genie. I, I used to work in Chicago in a department store. I used to work in Chicago. I do, but I don't anymore. A lady came in, she asked for a whoop. What kind of oops said I? Oops, she said, no oops. I said, I just better it on it. <laughs> hey, Richard, you don't know a goddamn thing about women, do you? You know that women are basically all whores? Did you know that? Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me, Jean. You're married, right? Wouldn't you say he's married, Jackson? Oh, yeah, he's married. Very yeah. much so. Uh-huh, 48, unhappy as hell. Uh-huh, separated. Out for a good time. Out for a good time. Looking for a little momentary relationship? Who the hell are you guys? Oh, didn't we tell you, Richard? We're the police. Oh, yeah, we're the squad. squad. <laughs> <laughs> so look, you run along home, sonny boy, and play with your own. <laughs> Joe is Joe Jackson. Jim is Jim McCarthy. He's vice president of Metal Industries of the Pacific West Coast. Coast. And affiliate company. Jackson's supposed to mix the drinks, right? Right. Jackson, get me a double-double scotch. Straight? No soda, no ice. No soda, no ice. Neat, clean, straight down the line, huh? Vicky, why don't you go? Well, what do I do now? Take my coat off? You want me to do it? Take my coat off? All right. All right, step outside. No. What do you mean, no? You think I'm going to fight out in the dark? You're crazy. Well, we can't fight Miss Rapp's house. Why not? Why not? Look, McCarthy, why don't you just get out of here? Nobody wants you around. Oh, nobody wants me around, huh? Right. A little while ago, you almost, you almost faded when I offered you 200 bucks. Oh, 200 bucks. Oh, Nancy, you're not even pretty. I don't mean nuts on your fat crap. I'll well, take it easy, Jeannie. Are you going to fight or not? You mean you want to go through with it? What are you, yellow?
understand you're a pretty big businessman. Is that right, Jim? Yeah, that's right. Well, Stella tells me you're an advertising and promotion. Yeah, that's my title. Huh? They think I'm worth $150,000 a year plus expenses for it. Who's your biggest account? Doesn't believe me. Hey, look. Here's a car. I'm not interested. No, he's not interested in that. You buy uh, brass and aluminum. Yep. I buy brass and aluminum. Is that right? That's right. Case closed. Hey, hey, now, look, son of a gun. You told me in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> the uh, fag motorcycle driver? Yeah, I heard that. Well, how about the one about the uh, little Jewish agent who was... Not necessarily. I heard that one, too. Hey, why don't you tell him about that one about probably... Oh, come on, now. You gave the punchline away. What's the matter? I heard with that one. <laughs> how about the goose one? The goose one? Yeah. The goose that goes down the uh, subway and gets people uh, to uh, death. <laughs> the goose that goes down the subway and gets people to death. I'm going to 
to call the fire squad. Hey, remember? We're the fire squad. <laughs> Hey, 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 Stella, why don't you give that girl, what's her name? Marta. Marta, why don't you give her a call? Uh, come on, sweetheart. All right, then we can get out of here, okay? Oh, uh, Jesus. How do we get into this situation anyway? Huh? Dude, I'm sorry. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, uh, why don't I give you a call Monday? Maybe we can have lunch or uh, maybe just talk on the phone, all right? That's okay. Huh? Very good idea. Good. Okay. <laughs> are we ready? <laughs> No bath. People drown in bathtubs.
you're a very strange man. Well, you want me to leave, I'll leave. You're not sensitive. And another thing, you don't make me insecure. That's not one of my problems. Socks. Yeah, good. Your new socks make me insecure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, clothes make the man. <laughs> well, what does that do? Make your feet smell good. Oh, I suppose. Then I'm going to dry them off, I'm going to powder them down, and I'm going to rub them till warm. <laughs> oh, them bones, them bones, they walk all over them. Them bones, them bones, them they walk all over them. Spending the night.
<laughs> it's a nice place you got here. Thank you. It's 27 years old. 27 years? Oh, come on, Jenny. Let's do some work. Twist in the room. Oh, all right. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, no. The party's just beginning. Right, Jenny? Uh, yeah, right. Because <laughs> I'm mixing the drinking. Ladies, declare. Gia Anton. Josh and Phillips. Oh, glass is coming up. Oh. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Look, I got these records now. Can we have some music, please? Can we have some music or something? Oh, he's just going to sit here. Where are you from, Chad? Too much, man. Look, look. Are you kidding well, me? Well, I mean, all that whole room full of pretty young chicks. What made you come over to our table? Oh, Billy, me. You know why? Because there was something wrong with me. Now, you guys were all sitting there like a bunch of... Well, like you were going to break into tears any minute. Now, if I see someone trying to join in and not knowing how, and if I myself know how, and I always make it a point to know how with anybody. And I say, go on over, man. <laughs> kind of like uh, Jesus said, you know, Jesus said, love it, uh, God is love, love is dead. <laughs> kind of like Christ said, you know, help thy neighbor, man. <laughs> the one that said that? Billy May, what difference does it make who said it? What difference does it make who said it? It could have been, uh, it could have been him. It could have been Gandhi. It could have been Buddha. It could have been Spuda. It could have been your daddy. It could have been your mama. It could have been your uh-uh. It could have been your uh-uh. What difference, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. It's a very good way to express yourself. What do you mean? What? I said, what do you mean? Well, I said, like, take a guy my age. Oh, I got to have some kind of a release. Now, do you want to... Well, I can't very well hold up a bank for kicks. That's against the law, right? Right. Right, Jenny. 
Everybody agrees with me. <laughs> right, so what do you do? You dance. What do you dance? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> you have a few belts and go up to some chick's bed and make it, maybe. Make it? <laughs> <laughs> Just make it, baby. You're out and out, lay down and... I don't want it. I mean, not... Well, I just don't want the hang. Jenny! You're a damn good-looking kid for only 23. Florence, from Florence, Let's dance. Florence from Torrance, you've got the insurance. Round. 
Put it in the oven, heat it off the ground. Come on and do the slip and slide. I ain't had no goodies since your granny died. Put on the red meat, baby. Don't want no taters or onions. I just want a tongue in. Come on and put on the red, baby. <laughs> that I maintain my dignity throughout the entire thing. I mean, hell, it isn't as if we did anything wrong. I mean, all anybody has to do is just to look at the four of us. I mean, to know that there was nothing wrong. And if old Malcolm is going to get upset over a, over a silly thing like that, then where are we? But you know Louise. She is going to go home and talk about how vulgar it was and how terrible we all behaved and how she went home the moment it all began. But I don't... Well, if she does, I'm just going to tell her she's full of it. But I don't think she will, do you? I mean, not that I give a damn. Anyway. You know, this is going to put her back on the couch for another 25 years. And I'll I tell you something else funny, honey. I love Matthew. Yes, I am in love with my husband. How about that? I think he's nice, don't you? You know, my Louie, so short, those awful glasses, and he can't carry a tune, much less dance. What's the matter? Are you tired? Oh, come on, don't be tired. The evening's young, you know. You know, these dances, these wild, crazy dances, I think they've succeeded where science failed. Because, you know, I can go to a beauty parlor and sit there for hours having my hair done and my nails polished, but I don't feel any younger. I might look it. Says these wild, crazy dances. They do something to me inside. <laughs> well, the hell was Louie. Because do you know one of these days I'm going to croak 
and I'm going to flop down on the ground, and some goddamn preacher's going to preach a goddamn sermon over my goddamn body. Okay. Would you kiss me? Will you drive me home? Sure.
love will I be a louse? Who cares, man? I'm gonna do it anyway. Just the way I got to do it today. Turn around and we'll all play. Pull down the spread. Pull down the covers. Gonna get in and have another. Lover's little bit and gonna have fun. Undress, baby, and we'll be one. Take down your pants. Take down your drawers. Gonna show you daddy where it's for her for. <laughs> Come on, honey, take off my son. the lights. I don't like lights. Beautiful body. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I've been told that, you know. I have been seduced. <laughs> Is it a nice feeling? I am not tired if that's what you mean. Eat your eggs. What does that mean? It means that your eggs are hot and they're going to get cold. You're a lousy cook. Thank you. I love to cook. My mom always told me you want to eat, cook. Otherwise, you'll be skinny. And skinny people are not like fat people. Fat people are jolly. Right? Wrong. Skinny people are happy because they're not fat. Okay, I'll diet. You're not fat. What? You're voluptuous. What? I can't hear you, Dickie. No. Vicious. Well, that's a negative attitude. What, putting on my pants? Yeah. Well, I just hate getting out of bed, that's all. Stop apologizing. I love you. Don't be so big-hearted. What an answer. Well, you make lousy eggs. I do? Yes, and I don't know how anyone could make lousy eggs. Look, in my whole life, nobody ever told me I make lousy yeah, eggs. Nobody was ever honest with you before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you want, cigarettes? Oh, no, I quit. I don't smoke either. I never did. Well, don't I get any credit for that? No. Did you know I steal in supermarkets? And I don't like dogs. You don't like dogs? Hate them. Puppies, even. What do you mean, you steal? Oh, <laughs> oh you jerk. Just don't <laughs> ever say you know all of Jeannie Rapp's secrets. You're wearing false eyelashes. <laughs> so? You're stupid. So help me, God, you're stupid. I'm stupid. You can't even say a decent Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled peppers. All you do is say Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled poopers. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I dream of Jeannie, Peter Piper, laughing, dancing, having a good time. <laughs> Does it begin to come back to you? Oh, you're such a child. 
I am not a child. You're a, you're a lousy dancer. You ought to take lessons. Well, I took dances. You know, you have a tin ear, too. You can't even carry a tune. But last night, you danced and you sang and you just let it all go. And didn't we have a good time? You liked making love to me, didn't you? Yes, I did. So you see there, that's good, isn't it? And you, you enjoyed my company, too, didn't you? I enjoyed your company. And you said that you trusted me, didn't you? Yes, I did. And you thought Peter Piper was pretty important last night, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes, I did. You see, I'm always right. <laughs> I listened to your demented dialogue, too, didn't I? Yes, you did. And I thought you were crazy, didn't I? Yeah. But I made love to you and I held you in my arms all night. And if you'd been out in the street last night, they'd have had you committed, wouldn't they? Right? I suppose so. You son of a gun. How come you hate me now? Jeannie. Do me a favor. Don't be silly anymore. Just be yourself. But I am myself. Who else would I be? I'm serious. Definition of serious. Blah, 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 blah. Let me get this garbage out of here. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Now, if Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where is the pack of pickled peppers Peter picked? Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter picked? Huh? <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Now, if Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where is the pack of pickled peppers Peter picked? Peter Piper picked the pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked the pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked the pack of pickled peppers. Operator, I want the emergency rescue squad. My number? My number is...
please walk. Now, don't go back out. Stay awake. I 
I like it. I caused you a lot of pain and a lot of grief, and, and I almost killed you. <coughs> and I prayed, man. Oh, I prayed to God. I said, God, please, dear God, don't let anything happen to her, because I love her so much, and I'll do anything you say, God. And, man, I don't even believe in him, you know? But, I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I, we protect ourselves. You, you, so when you talk ethics and values and honesty, and I'm a nice guy, and you're a nice guy, and this and that, you know, I mean, it just doesn't matter. <sighs> nobody cares. I, nobody has the time to be vulnerable to each other. So... We just go on, you know? I mean, right away, our armor comes out like a shield and goes around us, and uh, we become like mechanical men. <laughs> and I called you a mechanical woman, huh? I got news. I'm so mechanical. Honey, it's absolutely ludicrous how mechanical a person can be. I am the sexiest guy in the world. I have blonde hair. I can get all the women I want. <coughs> You're waking up, aren't you? Uh-huh. You silly little puddin'. Yeah, I am a silly little puddin'. You know, anybody that would, that would pop a lot of sleeping pills, anybody that would ugh, their guts out, you know, in front of company, anybody that would let a, a, a guy uh, a slapper and not be mad at him. You're supposed to be saving Hasn't my life. Hasn't got much to say. I've got lots to say. You want to try me? No, I hate you. I really hate you. You just had problems. That's wonderful. That's uh, something new. The noble adulteress. I think you ought to be rewarded. I write it into a policy. You commit adultery, the adulterer gets killed. Beneficiary, who is the adulteress, gets paid off, right? You can't, I don't care. Rejected for the thousandth time in 14 years. She doesn't care. Well, after 
do is find that 10-year-old rapist and kill him. And you get paid off. You don't need me, you don't need any man. Then I'll write the policy. Throw me a cigarette, please. A light. Light, please. 